things that I love about working <laughs> in television. You get to meet such interesting um, things, things. Well, we turn now to painter and sculptor John Lee, a man about whom I suppose we've spoken enough already, really. Yep, so I accept to say that his latest exhibition opens up on Monday at the Fringe Club. We'll let him do the talking in conversation with Ruth Hartford. John Lee may look like just another artist to you. He's done some great sculptures and more than a pro with the old watercolors, but now he's come up with something new, which can be best described as paper art. He collects old paper, recycles it, and makes art out of it, getting different colors and textures before a paintbrush has been anywhere near it. So what's the best? I think newspaper, newsprint, I mean, they are very good, fine, but uh, there's a disadvantage they're a bit gray. Um, you have to uh, dye them. Maybe you put some color to stir it with the water, something like this. But I don't like uh, artificial color. I, I would rather use the gray color for some part of my painting. But they are very cheap, and man, many people just throw them away. The recycling process is quite easy. The paper is simply soaked overnight until very soft, then liquidized for several minutes until a pulp, and sieved to get rid of the water. You're then ready to start finger painting, though it's more a matter of molding at this stage. The excess water is removed with a sponge. It's left to dry, preferably in the sun for a day, and there you have it. Not even glue is needed. Then it's ready for painting, though it's obviously very different to painting on traditional canvas. Working on my own paper, I think, is more difficult uh, than working on the traditional ca canvas paper because uh, normal canvas papers, they have a certain step to follow. If you, someone knows the technique, they should know the effect from the paper materials they use. But for my own paper, I have to concern many things, like uh, uh, the paper itself, they have original colors, different colors uh, and different texture. Some may be very fine, some may be very rough. Before I, I build up my uh, paper, I, I, I'm working on my painting as well. I put the mixture together, stir it, just like stirring up the, the uh, mixing the color. So before they dry, I, I don't even know the exact color, but by my experience, I have to determine what, what to use. Being an artist today is very hard, and although John has proved he is a very competent carver and painter, he wanted to adapt something new that people would remember him by. Unless you can do something different, people don't even notice you, so it's important to have your own image. The ideas for his work come from his dreams in simplified forms. The work is very abstract, but he says that the themes are the same, so soon people will recognize his work by the ideas being repeated in varying forms. It's certainly different, but how will it go down in Hong Kong? For me, being an artist, I, I, I can't expect myself too much to, to, trans, uh, to give people something. I just want to keep working on my own. I mean, um, I got a lot of story myself. I, I may doing something people understand, but may not be, that's not important. I think the most important thing is uh, I'm still working hard, and in the future, People will be interested in my works, and that's it. Ruth Harford reporting there. Nice to have Rue back with us again, isn't it? Well, after the break, we have.